Yo, how's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So well, today's video, we finally have a tutorial and this tutorial is going to be an advanced logo and AVI that you can use on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you would like to use this logo. It's going to be Fortnite based while we're going to be going into depth as well into Blender and also Photoshop. So just before we get started, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll be releasing as well the free PSD link for Photoshop down below in the description as soon as we get 100 likes. So of course, please smash the like button down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I'm going to be uploading hopefully every single week from now on and as of course in December I'm going to try my best to do that also let me know comments down below of what tutorials you like to see next and as well let's get straight into this once you have imported your skin into blender what you're going to do next is where you're going to start off with the posing go with any pose you want type in on Google as well maybe a pose holding a gun pose holding an AR pose anything that can help you guys out of how to pose your character so I'm gonna have mine holding the weapon kind of up to her face but of course the gun is going to be going over her shoulder kind of that's the kind of idea that i'm going to be going for so what i'm going to do is probably just get my uh, like my skin in the correct position so of course going to pose mode here i guess you guys know what to do of this part so for the bones here i like instead of it being in global always go to local and that just finds like obviously the bone in the correct place in a way where your bones should actually move because if it is in global you could be going like backwards around the place or whatever so we're going to start off with the arm so this arm i'm going to kind of put it in the correct position without the gun even being there bring the arm out a bit more and i think with this we need the wrist probably going up and just about agree there for this arm you ain't going to see it so much but we're going to just put this arm down I think the angle that I'm going for as well, the head is going to be tilted to the side and then we're going to have the gun that we're going to be kind of focusing on, but that's going to be blurred out Then it's going to be on the face. It's going to look pretty sick. So I think for this, what we're going to do is actually turn the head. So we're going to turn the head like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe not so much. We want maybe looking. Yeah, that looks good. Actually looking down like that. I've got no reference for this. So for this one, I'm just going off the dome really. So I'm going to move the weapon into place as well. It is a little bit big. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to just shrink that down by pressing S and then moving our mouse in to do that and bringing it up. If your skin is also maybe way too big, you can exactly do that. Just press S. So we're going to start off with the weapon. So I'm going to have the weapon kind of leaning against us, but we don't want the weapon to go inside of our arm or anything like that. It'll look a little bit odd. So I think I'm going to go with something like that. It's very close to where I want it. So our weapon is going to be like here. And we're going to have that bit blurred out that I will show you how to do. So let's try and get this into place as well. This is going to take a lot of maneuvering and stuff like that. You can't expect it to be perfect every single time. So there we go. That's looking not too bad there. I know it's still in the arm a bit. But what we're going to do is actually put the fingers in position. So maybe move the wrist up a little bit. I don't usually do this, but you can actually just going to move the arm up a little bit because we're not going to see the arm so much. It's going to be mainly the hand and stuff like that. So start off with the fingers, obviously in post mode, the rotation tool, local, individual origin. So that's going to be every single bone is going to move separately. So the option that we had a minute ago, that's just going to move the bones like obviously the last one that you selected. But individual is going to move all of them like a bending motion, like you bend your finger normally. It's so useful, so of course it's very realistic that you've really want in your pose. You don't want any your bones going backwards or anything that just doesn't look right. So I folded the fingers in. We're gonna select the green ones for the outer fingers where her nails are. There we go. It looks like she's holding the weapon. Already that's looking pretty decent here. So I'm going to grab the mesh or the amateur of this weapon, and we're going to go to this object properties here go down to child of select the AO of this skin that's going to connect it and we're going to type in hand and it's her right one so we're going to click on that set inverse and it's going to have that exact place so what that does go into pose mode again it's going to be linked to her hand at all times so now what I can do that I like to do all the time is always just mess about with the spine stuff like that maybe it doesn't matter so much because we're going to have a close view of our skin 
but you can really mess around with it and if you're going for an out of view it really does mess about with the spine and it looks so much better I'm going to get a camera so go to add or is where you can go to shift a and then go down to camera import the camera first of all before we put it in position instead of it 1920 by 1080 for thumbnails we're going to go a thousand by a thousand and this is going to be exact dimensions that we're going to have in photoshop so I'm going to move this into place and what I like to do, just to bring out the background so we don't get distracted, we can definitely tell what's going on. Go to viewport display and this, whatever it says, and put that to a thousand. So it's all black around the edge and we can really concentrate on what is going to be in the image. So a bit too close there. Still a bit too close. And that actually looks pretty good. I'm quite impressed with that. I think I'm going to turn this camera around a bit more. Looking pretty good. I don't want it too close like that. There we go. So we can see the top of the head. We can tell that she has an AR in her hand. What we can probably do that the weapon is in, the, in her arm a bit. We can go to the wrist. Just bring it out a little bit. But then bring the arm in. So it looks like it's really tight to her like, body. And also is in her hand. So there we go. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So now we've got our basic pose down. I think it's about time that we go on to the lighting. So the next part that we're going to go into is actually the lighting as well. I'm not going to spend too much time on the lighting, but this is what I usually do for thumbnails or as well if I'm working on headers or anything like that or whatever it may be to do with lighting. So I go to add, go to light and then go to point. I find this one the best as well if I'm working on a bigger scene. I'll go for something a bit bigger maybe as well the area light and also the sunlight is very good as well so for this one it's just going to be very simple as well rim light and of course the front of the as well the skin and stuff that that we're going to be working on with the lighting oh so shader mode here we can actually see the effect so you can already tell that i have a hdr on already it looks really good one of my favorite hdrs so this one you can find i think i got it from google or somewhere like that I don't really know if it's in HDR Haven, but you can search it up. The name of it here, 3K, 4K, or whatever it may be, you could actually find it there. So one of my favorites, I use it nearly all the time. So this is very good for lighting. You have the basic lighting to bring out the shadows, but as well for this, we can actually add in as well more of our lighting effects. So what we're going to do here, we're going to add a green effect by going to the power. And we're going to up that a little bit. So turn this on and off and see if we see any changes and stuff like that so we can see a bit of green there I'm gonna actually put around the green as well so you want a fair bit of green in the back so for this one I might have to actually do it a little bit more so there you go we can already see it I have a good glare of green in the background for the rim and as well you can tell where the green's coming from and we do also have a bit of green at the front because she is also covered but you never know there could be some spotlight in the background so i think that's pretty good i'm a fan of this so i'm going to go into the render settings now and show you how i render out something like this to come out really good quality so then when you make your avi it's going to be really crisp and good so starting it off with the settings well the samples we're going to go with as well 300 samples here i find this is just the best for myself so you can go a lot higher if you want or as well if this takes a long time you might have to put this down so make sure that you have it transparent because if not then you're going to get the hdr also within this so click that transparent so there is glass in here so we can actually put that to transparent as well because we have this bit at the back here and it's going to look kind of odd as well already as you can see so that looks pretty good so far we're actually going to go down here and we're going to change obviously the resolution a thousand by a thousand that is going to be the shape of our profile picture so that what we're seeing here is what we're going to see within our final image is when we have our background added the percentage are like 150 i don't know why it just brings it out a bit more if that's too high for you if when we go to render you might have to go down to 100 but i'm going to go with 150 and denoise if we're going to tick that one so all of these little dots here when we finish rendering you won't have that at all it's going to be very smooth very clean so that's the settings that i go for we have the lighting already don't have it in render view when you go to render it just slow down your computer even more so go to like just a shader as well option and we're going to go to here and render image so now it should take maybe 20 30 minutes maybe a bit longer for you guys whatever it may be but I'll come back for when this render has done. When your image has renders, we're gonna hop into Photoshop. So what you're going to do is go to File and then New, 
And for this, we're going to have the pixels as I already have set, as well the width and the height by a thousand, and that's in pixels. Then a 72 resolution, and it's by white background. You can follow the rest. So that's what we're going to have. This is the exact resolution that you want for a profile fic the picture. So as well, I'm going to actually just remove this background here, make a new layer, delete the one that we already have. So what I need to do is actually get my as well PNG that I just rendered out. So here it is. Uh, to be honest, I'm very impressed with how this has come out and stuff like that. As so, well, I was going to blur uh, also the gun within uh, Blender, but as well, we can actually do that in Photoshop very easily. I won't do that bit just yet, but what we can do is we're going to add the background and stuff like that. So if you go onto Google, like I have here, if you type in as well gas background or any background that you want, you can actually find a load of effects that as well maybe that you could use within your as well logo so find something that as well could suit you and what you think could work really well so when you find your background all you got to do is just drag it in when you have saved it and as well for this i'm going to have this green one here it looks kind of like a a gas kind of background it looks pretty good as well there is a bit of pixelation here but as well we're not going to concentrate so much on that it's going to be mainly so sort of this area and of course this is mainly the background so you won't see too much so Go and just rasterize this layer so as well we don't have that being in the way. So going down through as well, just a Google image, I'm finding a lot of effects here. So I'm going to just hide our one for now and I'm seeing so many effects that we can actually use. So for this, it doesn't look too bad right now, but what you can do is just change as well all of these things. Go to the soft light overlay as well. You can actually mix the background that we had before and we can actually just add these two together and it looks pretty cool. So we can go with that one. That looks pretty good. As well for this, I'm probably just going to extend that out. It's going to add a bit more effect in the background. So, so far, I don't see too much that you guys can find. So, again, I'm going with it. This is so easy how you could do it. Just get images, put them to, like, screen, whatever it may be. Go on Google, type in Sunburst, and you get this one here. So, for this, I'm going to cut it out. So, we have this. Now, we're going to go to the Magic tool. We're going to click on the black or white. So whatever one it is and we're just going to click around and it should go for all of the black or white or whatever it may be so as well delete that as well we've got two more here hold shift to select different ones and just delete that looks pretty good i'm just going to make sure because as well it's a little bit darker in there i'm going to go to color overlay by double clicking and all that so rasterize the layer so it's just one layer so we don't have that effect put this behind our character and as well we could put this to Maybe soft light or overlay. I think overlay looks really cool. So I'm going to go with that. That looks pretty sick so far. I'm very impressed with this. So, of course, what I like to do is actually open up my pack as well. Link down below for you guys to purchase. It has all my CCs as well that I have within this pack. So I really do recommend it if you go, uh, if you want CCs or as well. Even if you don't want to make your own renders, I also have as well renders within this pack and stuff like that There's so many good ones that i spent hours on it's up to you if you like to use these own renders so for the cc's what i'm going to use is i'm going to just copy the whole thing in so i'm going to take it in and we're going to see which one actually fits best so i'm going to just go down through the list so we'll see which one has the best effect here so we have this one we can also adjust them maybe it's a little bit too dark so we can go into here we can find whatever's going to be making it a bit darker and stuff like that. So we can just turn down the opacity a bit more. That looks pretty good. A bit of darkness there, and this one has most of it. So, so on this one just here, let's turn that down a bit. I'm actually going to add my own effect as well, another exposure. By going down to this cog, exposure. Let's turn this up a little bit. Let's turn it up quite a bit, but then we're going to actually, like we said, the brush. Make sure it's on black, so then when we click here, it's going to mainly just do that area so it's not too white it's white around here but not too much around that one area where it went really white and stuff so we did not want that we're going to go down to the cog thing again the color balancing and go to this one here and what that's going to do we can actually change the color and this will make it fit a little bit more so obviously we have a green background we're going to add this to the green we're going to clipping mask it so right click then go down to clipping mask that's going to clipping mask it to that skin or as well to that layer i'm going to turn down the opacity just a little bit that's looking very good so 
with just these little layers that we have so far look at what we've come up with it looks very good i'm very impressed with this but we're not done just yet what we can do is double click on this come in the blending options here and we're going to add maybe an inner glow so that is going to be like the out like the outside that comes in and stuff like that so we're going to add this to a green so we don't want too much of a glow here as well it's very bright and vibrant so we're going to change this to sort of a shadow light and we're going to just turn down the opacity on that so a big difference that has as well you can see the difference that it has there it brings out more of the green within the weapon again for this one i'm going to add this one more of a whitey color i'm going to have this to overlay and we're going to bring this in a lot more and turn down the opacity if not white's not working out for you, you can also go green again it does not matter now this looks pretty good i'm very impressed with this what i would like to add is also some smoke so maybe we can add this well clipping mask it to there and we can add this go to a member the brush you can actually just cut out around as so well maybe you can actually add this on top so there we go we have that kind of we have that same effect if that makes sense the smoky look as well so we can get rid of all this top bit let's put this to white add it over the top oops i always make that mistake there we go put this all to white so now we can just click around as well you can kind of tell already where we're going with this so I add different layers because you want them to look a little bit separated from each other because if not then it's going to look a bit more it's going to look look a bit duplicated and you don't really want that so you want to change different layers and stuff to make it look different so this is looking pretty good i see there's way too much green down this bottom corner so for this what i'm going to do is go back down to here and also we're going to add another layer why is it's clipping mass we're going to go to this and we're going to add just a bit more darkness just around the bottom of this skin here so that's going to bring it out a lot so i probably didn't need that much but we can just click over again and I'm actually going to add another brightness. So down here, exposure. I'm going to bring out just the skin a bit more. There we go. I'm actually a very big fan of this. Hopefully this guys has helped you out. What we're going to do is group all of this together. And as well, we're going to hold Alt and drag down. So that makes a duplicate. Hold the top layer. Let's merge this layer. And again, we're going to highlight. Cut. That's going to get this whole layer. And for this, our final effect that we're going to do, go to filter, then as well go to a raw filter. And for this, we're going to change a few effects. So we're going to bring up as well the exposure. This is kind of for you, for, uh, for you guys just to mess about what looks best. So let's turn down the white because we don't want so much white like that. We want just a little bit less, but there is a bit, but not too much where it's overdone. There's quite a lot of shadow, so we can actually bring that up a bit. The whiteness just down a tad you don't want too much darkness but i think we just want a little bit and we have the textures that's going to bring it out a bit more thicker and looks pretty nice bring that out a bit brings more of the backgrounds again we will, i think for this one we bring it up just a bit maybe down on that one let's do that now i think i like to change a bit of the colors while well, this green is looking very good but i want to kind of more of a toxic -y kind of colors so that's kind of like a yellowy greeny color this bug does go pretty well so we go towards like in the middle and let's up this a little bit so we can tell it's a green but we can tell it's like a toxic toxic -y green as well if that makes sense because if it's just a, a green like this it looks a little bit odd so we want a bit of different variations in there as well go to the effect you know we had that uh that shadow around the outside we can also control that the strength and everything that's pretty good very big fan of that our final effect that we're going to have go to filter sharpen and that's just going to bring it out a lot more so hopefully this guys has helped you out i'm very happy with how this has looked as well i leave the psd down below if we get as well 100 likes on this tutorial hopefully my first tutorial back has been pretty solid for you guys if i've gone too fast missed over anything please tell me down below in the comments i'll make sure to improve in my next tutorial so hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video